Laka does. Hey. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, this is the Ivano TV. <laughs> guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Ivano TV. Eh. Na kuambia mambo ni mengi huku, masa ndio machache. Eh? Guys, sasa we are back on a serious business. <laughs> Where? Uyo jamaa anafahamika kama Bishop Johanna, the trading bishop in Kenya. Sasa forget about Yesu ni, ni nyandue. Hmm? By the way, hata nimetoka kuongea na Yesu ni nyandue sahi. Nimetoka kuongea na ule bishop mwenye anaimba haki wa hana manguo. Hmm? Ameniambia kwa Eldoret. Wachana na uju sasa mwenye hey. Pastors, bishops, evangelists, fathers, priests, deacons. Ninawaombea Mungu akaweze kuwabadilisha. Kwa sababu kama hivyo ndo mtatu lead because you should lead by example we are going to lost all yani sisi wote tutapotea. Sasa hata afadhali embara mbamba. Kuna huyu bishop mwingine mwenye anaimba ameanza kuimba na evangelist. Ah, ameanza kuimba na embara mbamba. Bado nasikia ni mkisi. Anaitwa sijui nani. Hmm? Ana, ni, ni kona nini? Mpaka nimempigia simu. Sasa huyu mwingine na yeye, imagine hii ni maombi gani guys? Hii ni maombi gani? Huyu pasta mwingine anaitwa uh -uh, ajasema. Oh, William Getube. Anaitwa William Getube. Huyo mwenye anaimba ile wimbo ya Yesu ni nyandue. Aya sasa huyu ni mwingine anaenda kuwa, anaombea watu, anawatoa mapepo, anawapaka mafuta huko kwao kwa kariva between, anawaingiza kidole kwa kariva between. Anaingiza kidole akichukuliwa kamera, "Eh hey, my friend, nakwambia nimewatch hiyo video nikasema mahali tunaelekea." Watoto wetu sijui wa, yani watoto wetu sijui watakaa haja. Uyo pasta Johanna, Bishop Johanna, Bishop Muzima anakuingiza, anaku, anakupaka mafuta. Ona anakupaka mafuta hivi. Anakupaka mafuta, anakupaka mafuta. Oh my god, akijifanya anatoa nini? anatoa mapepo anakufanyia deliverance anateremka huko chini kwa kariva between anakufanyia vituko kwani nyinyi wanawake amuna akili unafanyiwa hivyo hata kama ni cloud chasing mazi wajaneni na hizo wacheni wacheni guys you guys you should stop mocking god that is mocking god Unafanya aje, unafanyia aje mtu deliverance ati una hii mpaka unamlalia wewe na ni bibi ya mtu na watu wako hapo wakikuchukua ka video mpaka manyege oh my god oh my god manyege unasikia zimeshika kushika mpaka unalalia bibi wa wenyewe na muli ulikuwa unamfanyia deliverance like seriously guys we hiyo video nimeiweka telegram manze eh hey, hey. My friend, tunaelekea wapi? Na wauliza tunaelekea wapi? Kweli dunia ina mambo. Dunia ina mambo. Pasta wamegeuka kuwa kitu ingine. Na ndiyo maana unaona, na by the way wacheni ni wambi, unaona kayole. Kayole soweto kumepatikana na watoto wengi, watoto 16, wenye walikuwa kidnapped. Kama ulipoteza mtoto wako, my friend, enda kayole, utafute mtoto wako. My friend, watoto walikuwa wamefungiwa, watoto wamepotea. Aki siju tunaelekea wapi. Angalia pale pasta makenzie vile alifanyia watu. Watu over 475, wote walikufa. Eh? Yaani mimi siji tunaelekea wapi? Aki Mungu, dunia si mama nishuke mimi. Juu kama hawa ndio pasta wenye mnapea fungu la kumi, mumepotea kabisa. Hawa mapasta kama ni wao mnawapea fungu la kumi, mumepotea kabisa. Hawa mapasta kama ni wao wanawaombea, mumepotea kabisa. Sasa tukimbililie wapi? Watoto wetu ndio watakuwa. Yaani hata sijui watoto wetu watakuwa wapi. 
ni kwa nini hawa watu wasichukuliwe nini hatua mbona hawa watu wasichukuliwe hatua guys mtu atakuja aje kwa social media imagine kwa kwa hizo video zote ziko kwa account yake kwani mtu ameguruka ama ni nini bibi ya wenyewe my friend bibi ya wenyewe hata sio bibi yako Munafanya hiyo kitu public na kwani nyinyi wanawake hamna akili ju sasa unaenda ku... hata kama ni feelings maze mpaka unapinduka hivyo unasikia huyo mwanamke amesikia utamu amesikia utamu mpaka unaona tu akikaa hivi anasema oh my god aki Mungu nisaidie tu nimekuwa nikigoja hii eh huyo pasta amenikosea heshima kabisa Eshi, muniambie hii ni deliverance ya aina gani na ndio maana sipendangi hizi makanisa za lagadodoj ogora oh, zagarazi goroweze gero gori ziga ai hata mtu anasemanga mavitu zenye hata ajui ni nini hmm? mimi nasemanga Mungu anisaidie nisiwai amini binadamu yeyote nisiwai eka imani yangu kwa binadamu God alone is enough guys Mungu peke yake. Unajua guys, acha niniwaambie kitu moja. Usiweke imani yako kwa binadamu. Hata maandiko inasema mwenye anayekanga imani yake kwa binadamu, huyo mtu amelaaniwa. Biblia inatuambia vizuri sana. Huyo mtu amelaaniwa. Utaenda aje atikuombewa na mtu, mtu mtu mwenye mtu mwenye anakushika shika matiti. Anakuingiza kidole, m? Mm? ana kuingiza kidole kwa karuva between na uko na bwana yako uko na watoto my friend hiyo video imeenda viral unajua hata kama amezi, amezifuta mimi niko nazo mimi nafanyanga utafiti nyingine kali sana eh I have a friend of mine anaitangwa Jacqueline ananiambianga ningekuwa DCI amefuta amefuta but I, I have it and I will share it Ndiyo muache kuombewa Ndiyo mujue hata Biblia inasema ya kwamba Biblia yangu iko wapi Biblia inasema ya kwamba guys hata gonja kidogo ukiangalia hapa niko Jeremiah Jeremiah 33 verse 3 it says eh nataka kuwasomea vile inasema It says call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things which you have not known. Biblia ndio inatuambia hivyo. I'm reading from the Holy Bible. Biblia ndio inatuambia hivyo. Uki, ukienda kwa Mungu muite na atakujibu na atakwambia vitu zingine hata zenye ujui. Wacheni kwenda kuweka imani yenu kwa mtu. Gojea. Unaona Matthew chapter 6 Verse 6 niko kwa Matthew niko hii kitabu imenipigania sana sana nikiwa Saudi Arabia nataka ku, kuwaonyesha unaona ukiwa the lord's prayer ukiwa kwa Matthew chapter 6 verse 6 inasema but when you pray go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you eh Inasema ya kwamba e, u, ukienda ai, Biblia haijasema uende ukaombewe uchukuliwe video ushikweshikwe matiti a uh-uh. Biblia hapa imetuambia it is in from the holy book eh? uh, Matthew 6 6 kama uko na Bible fungua hapo inatuambia vizuri sana na ukitaka kuomba enda kwa room empty piga magoti anza kuomba na Mungu mwenye Mungu mwenye unamwomba kwa secret atakujibu. Hata kuna kawimbo kana semanga hivi. Omba utafute uso wa Bwana. Aona ye kwa siri atakujibu kwa wazi. Jerusalemi Yesu waliomba baba matene ya ya tie. Mungu kwa ajili ya ule. La 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 nena. Eh? ukiomba lazima Mungu atakusikia lakini hii kitu ya kwenda kuombewa unaenda kushikwa shikwa matiti my friend unaenda kuingizwa vidole vidole utashikwa na ugonjwa utashikwa na ugonjwa please guys tafadhali hmm? tuache hii maneno tuache hii maneno kabisa eh? 
kuna kaumba kengine kamtuliza bahari kana imbangwa mtuliza bahari hmm? endeni muangalie hapo kaumbo na kapenda sana tunakuja kwako twaomba uturehemu watoto wako tu miguuni mwako tunalia kwa ajili ya mateso tunayopitia dunia hii mnajua mm, 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 mm. mm? hapo ka ndeni muangalie mu anaitwa tu mtuliza bahari niambie kweli hii dunia nimekuja kuona haina huruma na wanawake amujipendi kila siku ni wanawake wanawake wana niambie huyo huyo mama kama alikuwa ameolewa bibi yake atarudi tena aanze kumwambia siji nini na nini niambie kama huyo bwana atamkubali tena niambie watoto watakuwa wanariata aje guys don't be foolish social media does not forget kama kuna kitu mbaya ni social media. Yes, Bishop uh, Johanna ame delete hizo video zote, karibu zote. Lakini already video zilikuwa already shared. Ndio mimi nasemanga hivi. Unaona hata mtu aniite nikamfanyishe interview. Alafu I insist. Unajua watu hawajuangi kama mimi na kuanga na lawyers wangu. Ndio maana mnaonanga nikijigamba hivyo. Do I know my right? Unaona mtu akiniambia ati delete hiyo hiyo show yenye tulifanya my friend i can't dare delete the video why because my audience mimi ndio wataniona nikiwa mjinga imagine wasting your day unaenda wasting your affair unaenda kufanyisha mtu show alafu anakuambia please delete that video i will never ever delete that video i will never ever so bishop johanna ame delete videos But unfortunately hizo video zilikuwa already shared. Hata ukienda kwa TikTok account yangu The Ivano TV Foundation nimeiweka. Ukienda kwa Telegram yangu The Ivano TV Found The Ivano TV yenye iko na kanini? Yenye iko na kaemoji kayelo hapo kwa profile. Nimeweka hiyo video yake hapo. Kwa nini nimeweka? Kwa nini nimemu expose? Kwa sababu nimesikia uchungu sana kuona Bishop Muzima akifanya hivyo bishop mwenye anaombea watu akifanya hivyo mbele ya kamera na anaambia huyo mtu asongeshe hivyo anaangalia kamera vizuri anamwambia songesha hivyo that was so shameful nimekasirika na i'm not happy with what is happening in Kenya i think some 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 devils i think some evils ni kama kuna tu pepo tumetumwa kwa mapastas wetu na wewe embara mbamba nikikupata naweza kukupea viboko ukiwa na huyo mwingine mwenye ameimba sijui Yesu ni nyandue i may not understand the words but guys that is not hiyo sio heshima hati Yesu ni nyandue Yesu nipee mimba eh pasta mzima pasta mzima anaimba hivyo angalia huyo ni pasta mwingine amejitokeza anafanya nini mbele ya kamera Shuali, si, uh, 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 ilikuwa lazima urekodiwe na wewe tu ndio unasema urekodiwe. Guys, ebu please nisaidieni ku understand hii kitu. Please I need you to understand the reason as to why that Bishop Joanna alisema achukuliwe video. Alafu akazi delete zote, video zimejaa Facebook, video zimejaa TikTok, watu wa medute. What hey. tunaelekea wapi wa Kenya? Wa Kenya tunaelekea wapi? Yaani Kenya sasa hii imekuwa full of drama. Kenya mapasta ni kama kuna kaupe, kapepo kameingia. Kameingia kwa akili zao ambako ni kampaya sana. Pastors wetu wataangamia tukiwaangalia. Na wewe embara mbamba, nakwambia mimi siku yenye nitapatana na embara mbamba nitamtandika viboko. Kwa sababu ni yeye amefundisha tabia mbaya huyu pasta mwingine, pasta Gotembe. Nimewaambia ni anaitwa pasta nani? Nimewaambia nimeongea tu na yeye saa hii saa hii. Mimi hata nilikuwa namuuliza hiyo wimbo kama ni ya ukweli. Akaniambia eh, anaitwa William Getumbe. Yesu ni nyandue ndio huyu. Pasta mwenye amevaa nini? Huyu pasta ndio huyu. Na ni pasta mwenye amevaa mpaka nini suti. Pasta ame, amevaa mpaka suti vizuri. Alafu all of a sudden unaona ametoa nguo zote. Eh? 
amebaki na boxa pasta mzima mwenye huwa na ubiri church anasimama kwa madhabao anashika mic anasema bwana yesu asifiwe nilipokuwa pale mimi niko na muujiza kama we hey, kai tunaelekea wapi ni wapi tunaelekea ebu guys subscribe to my channel so that you can get more information bye bye let me know what you think about it guys don't forget to subscribe share and turn on the notification bell bye bye